Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Following my career, you can catch me on the road in Norwich, my good old hometown. Because I've decided we're going to take on a long job. We keep doing short jobs. Uh, we did the one long job uh, a good few months back now where we went from the UK down to Portugal. Uh, we then part around Portugal and Spain for a bit. And then since then we've just been UK and France, Scotland, I think we've been back to Ireland. I'd like to go further afield and I found a job that I think is a nice sort of distance. Um, I'll do it a bit like I did with the uh, Portuguese job and I'll split it over two or three uh, episodes. So every time we rest, um, I'll call an end to the episode there. I think this would be two or three. But we're going to go Sweden, hopefully, as long as the job's still there when we, uh, when we arrive. That's often the case. You uh, set a plan out to, uh, to go and do a job. Sorry, I was getting a beep. Uh, yeah, to do a job. And then uh, by the time you've driven there, especially if you're not in a city that you're already at, uh, the job is gone and you find okay. something different. Right here. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. And I'm going to try. Guidance is now finished. Okay. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can. I have way too many, too many episodes where I'm uh, going a bit too gun ho. So if we jump into the freight market. As you can see, I've picked a job that's going from Norwich to what, what looks like Yonkoping. But I, I've had a little look online and I think it's pronounced Yunsuping, Yunsuping, something like that. I am sorry if you're Swedish and you watch this and I've just butchered your language. Yunsuping, I think that was it. The, uh, the K had an S sound. Anyway, I digress. Let's see if we can uh, change that trailer up. What's going to go best with the uh, our green? That might go blue. Look tasty. So, and we've got until early afternoon on Tuesday. It's now ten thirty Sunday morning. So our pickup is just over there. Get this. There we go. I think that's tight enough. Oh, it might be. Might be just right. We're a little bit close to the uh, <laughs> the other trailer there, but we're on. We're good. Let's go. Lovely job. Now this uh, journey as well, I thought it'd uh, be something a little bit different uh, because I'm recording this pretty close to the last episode. So I've sort of got all my rants out of the way. I've not got a great deal to talk about with you. I haven't done much personally since then. Turn left. So I'm going to try and do this like I tried to do before. Turn right. And uh, I'm going to try and find some nice music to put on, and we'll uh, we'll have a little playlist. Get ready to turn left. And I'll uh, I'll jump back in turn left. late on in the journey.
the roundabout. Take the second exit. Exit 9.
ready to turn left. Turn left.
keep left.
ready to turn left.
to rest soon. Hopefully you've enjoyed the journey so far. Uh, it's gone pretty smooth. Me not having to conversate means I can concentrate. And, uh, so watch the accident kick in <laughs> in the last 10 minutes. But yeah, we're uh, coming into, uh, or just around the city here in Belgium. his name as we came through. I expect to see uh, a rest spot or something to pop up soon. There was one in there on our left. We may even have to go into uh, the map, navigate this up a bit. Keep left. This is to stay left. We'll keep a uh, we'll swerve on round. Done a, done a good job of maintaining speed as well, which has often been a, been a down floor at times. There we are, we've got a rest spot up on our right. It might be a little bit early, but I'd rather go early than uh, get hit with the yawns and the blinking eye and <laughs> eventually get fined. So uh, we'll take this rest spot. Some, uh, some beautiful scenery, as always, with uh, ETS2. So, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, SCS and Pro Mods always do a marvellous job here. And they will go around the back. We'll park around here. We should be good for fuel for a bit. We can do that at another time. This is for us. Over on the right. We'll get up to the front, make it easier for the next man in, or woman. Engine off. Parking brake on. Hello, and welcome back to Norwich to Jönköping, part two. We are on our way to Sweden. We've had our rest. Uh, we've still got quite a distance to go. If we bring up the uh, information. Expected. Oh, that's when they expect us to get there anyway. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Still 30, 30 odd hours. We've got rest in 10 hours. This could be a four part. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a two or a three, but. We're going to be on the road, people. No pun intended. So, uh, let's get going. Swing ourselves out. Let's make sure I got that as I want it in case I need it. Now, again, I think we're going to go with the music. I quite like that. I quite like doing... Uh, actually, a silent run. <laughs> it's a silent run if... Uh, YouTube doesn't put my music on like it did before. Let's see if he's going to let me out. I think he is. <laughs> Good job, really, because I just sort of went for it. Keep right. and then we are now into the Netherlands. Now we've got quite a bit to go. We're delivering barley. And I've just missed my turn. And see, that's what happens when I'm chatting and not paying attention. So we are going to get a new route, <laughs> which is probably going to take us a bit longer. But not to worry. Our sat nav has got our back. So uh, with that, I'm going to shut up. We're going to put some tunes on. And uh, we're going to get as far as we can in the next 10 hours. Enjoy, guys.
rest. Hopefully we've got a little town, a little town or a city or something nearby. I may have to uh, check on the larger maps. Oh, that's all right. Look at that. We may be able to pull over just ahead. Really on uh, regular A road as we'd uh, refer to it here in the UK. Odds are we get down there and there's a split or a division. But I think because it's a port, put a garden at that we will be able to pull in. Let's see what we can do here. We couldn't have been could have been timed any better if I tried. Make a U-turn. So where is Never mind. Truck Parkins mind. over there? fun one to get out of, but we'll worry about that next time. <laughs> My reversing isn't exactly great. So, engine off, handbrake on. Welcome back to Fakwa Freights. I don't think we've mentioned the name of the company since day one. Fakwa Freights. Uh, we're on part three of Norwich to Jön Sherping. We're going to go with that. Noise to Jön Schöping in Sweden. Let's start the engine up. Now we are parked in a prime spot today. Just back this bad boy up. Just take the handbrake off. <laughs> That'll do it, son. Now I need to be careful because I know. There's an island there somewhere. I'd rather not hit it. The smart thing would have been to have done this off camera. And just been ready to rock up out the door, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can turn around now. Right. Forward motion, my friend. Forward motion. want to do before we head out let's just have a little look at our map and see how much further we've got to go if I can remember how the map works we've got quite a distance now we obviously have to rest in oh no we we can we do that how far is that seven hours we should be able to do that This should be, as long as, <laughs> as long as I don't fuck it up, this should be the final leg of this three-parter. And, uh, first two, they've been, um, with audio, not with, not with, with audio. I think that was like a one-way bit, I just went through. Anyway, yeah, so uh, where are we, are we going through the middle? Let's take trucks through the middle. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm coming the wrong way, but we'll, we'll squeeze through on the side. I think we're supposed to go around on the outside. But yeah, they were done with um, music, and I think today. Shall, uh, we'll finish the trip off with me rambling on nonsense. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Mate, wrong route. Don't you worry. And knows what he's doing. So uh, let's get this ferry. And I think this ferry will uh, take us out of the Netherlands and into Sweden. 
Oh, we're not even. No, we're in Germany. So we're just doing a short trip across. Where is it taking us? So we're going to go across here, then probably across here, and across here. This is going to be a day of ferries. Okay, quick sip of the highly caffeinated energy drink, and we are off. Yeah, I get the feeling like I'm on the wrong side all the time. I'm going to go around <laughs> this time. Yeah, when we got on, I don't think I was supposed to uh, do that. But anyway, yeah, so uh, you've got me today. No weird random music from YouTube. We're into Denmark. Stop off in Denmark That's to start with. Take the second exit. Now I felt like the journeys were much smoother without me talking and just concentrating on driving. So uh, you never know. This one might be super eventful. While you guys were listening to uh, whatever I could find and uh, felt sort of went together, I was uh, listening to, listening to my wrestling podcast. I'd love it if uh, you could play the podcasts on here. I can't see what they'll copyright and all that. It's such a pain in the bum. I surely it would help maybe promote or gain. No one's going to come and watch me truck to listen to someone's podcast while they can go to a podcast. But, you know, you could listen to me chat along with a podcast. <laughs> and you might go and listen to and subscribe to said podcast. Maybe not wrestling one, but, you know, whatever it is I choose to listen to that day. I listen to different ones. like they were new. I mean, this was a podcast from nearly two years ago, I think. Because that's the sort of thing I do. I like, to I like to stay up to date on current affairs in the wrestling world uh, 20 months later. <laughs> uh, uh, it's still real to me, damn it. But no. That's just what I do. Sometimes I listen to old UFC um, podcasts as well that are from years and years ago just because I haven't watched it uh, live for quite a while now. I keep, keep up to date on who's champion and who's contenders and stuff like that. But for about, since I stopped doing MMA, I don't watch it as much, which is probably a bit weird, I don't know. But yeah, I still like to listen to the old ones that I haven't listened to before. I don't listen to repeated episodes on podcasts, but I, uh, I listen to uh, older ones I haven't heard before because the fighters are still relevant to my knowledge of <laughs> the UFC. Anyway, yeah, that's the sort of random crap I'm doing while we're trucking sometimes. I mean, I've learned how to set my audio up a little bit different as well, so I could have it playing um, and record as well, and obviously the OBS wouldn't pick it up, but then it would distract me a little bit more. I think that's sometimes why we have crashes and stuff, because I'm listening to music. I was, I was always listening to it on a different device through another head, uh, through another earpiece. But now I've worked out how to separate my audio. There's no stopping me, people. They're all sorts. Tell you what, I'm going to move over. Those uh, guys and girls can overtake me on the left like they're supposed to. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the, the last few... Uh, Episodes. They haven't actually gone live yet while I'm recording. I ha I'm not recording these all back to back. There is uh, a day or two between them. But 
but because I only put them out once a week at the minute still, it takes a while for them to get there. I try not to do, well I can't, while I'm mid-job I can't do another job can I? I try not to do too much away from recording. Um, we had a long spell where I wasn't putting these up but because of different issues. So they didn't turn up. Am I coming off? Here I am. Um, yeah so I, I did take a few jobs, mainly small jobs, nothing big. Uh, because when we, when we left off uh, before New Year. I think we were mainly in Spain. I did the two episodes, or where I tried to do two episodes with uh, music, completely with music, without even me introducing them. And uh, yeah, one of them was a big fail. But we went to from Cambridge to Scotland, because that was after an update. So we were in Cambridge to Scotland, and then we went uh, further into Scotland, up to the Highlands. And then we got things back on track and I was doing a few things I got down into Spain and then I think we had another update and I ended up back in the UK. Keep right and then Coming exit right. Be on the break. Uh, yeah, so we haven't because of updates and me not doing much away from the camera or from get recording. Um, we're struggling to get anywhere into Europe other than Turn left. France and Spain. So, uh, yeah, this, this triple header has at least got us out a little bit further. It's being more of the world. Oh, keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep rolling, go on. Go on, mate. I think it's gone well. I think the journey's been great. I've enjoyed it. Like I say, hopefully the music choices weren't too unbearable. There was something that was a little bit more modern and urban than the other one. Uh, a little bit more poppy electric. But I think if you don't necessarily like the music, but you just like watching the driving, you can turn that down and just put whatever playlist you like on. because I watch uh, quite a bit of uh, Farm and Simulator from channels that do time-lapse. Um, so there's, you can listen to anyone that's just 100% time-lapse and because, you know, music can be a bit generic quite often I turn them down and put different music on myself and I still enjoy watching the time-lapses. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. To Rodby. find that more distracting for me, whereas if I'm just driving it's not as distracting. Just check this one there. Um, it's a similar sort of thing with when I do my farming. It's that if I'm in my cab and you know I'm sitting here uh, you know on my gaming station, got my wheel and my side panel and my pedals and gear shifter and everything. It's the same as when I'm doing my tractor. If if I'm playing it that way, I like to be in an in-cab view. And it, I just find it really I don't know, awkward and uncomfortable to be out of cab driving with a wheel. It's, it's sort of redundant. In my mind anyway. I'm sure there are people out there that are like, no, that's how you do it. So I always do it. I'm sure it's how you always do it. I just when I watch people that stream or do videos and they've got their camera set up and you can see they've got their wheel and they've got their side panel like I've got for the extra buttons and they say they're playing in a realistic manner but then the camera that you're seeing the gameplay from 
is out of cab off to the left somewhere. That's that's not that's not realism. If you're doing something realistically, you should be in the cab, like with the truck in. That's my rant for today. Uh, a little bit of a knock at all the oh, I've got a little achievement as well. Quadrophobia. That's the achievement I've unlocked today, people. Those that are well experienced in Euro Trucking will think, oh blimey, that's a noob achievement. But that's what I've just seen got. Yeah, I often get people on my slow down. Discovered a viewpoint. Where can we trigger this viewpoint? Oh, it's on the other side of the road. That's a shame. Yeah, get people telling me that I should um, do more out of cab and it would be more interesting if it's out of cab and things like that. But that's, you know, you do have to sort of pander to it a little bit because you obviously you want to please your audience, you want to make great content people want to watch. But also at the same time, I'm trying to create my content and my content is as realistic as I can get at some times, which isn't always all that realistic. I mean, for this to be more realistic, you should be, you know, doing things with the axles and lower and you know, the attaches and stuff like that, which one day I'd like to get into once I get deeper into the game and what I'm doing. I'm still, still really, really green when it comes to ETS 2. You think this is, um, this will be like episode 25, 26. So I'll probably only be playing for 25, 26 hours. That's it. And I don't think that's that's very long for a game of this size with with all the extra options that it comes with to do with realism. And yeah. Uh, if you follow me for a long period of time, hopefully in the future, we will be doing even more of that stuff. My problem is that I'm just not very good at remembering um, where the controls are mapped on the keyboard and then on top of that I like to have a side panel beside me uh, because I find that easier and uh, yeah remember where I map everything then and then jumping from like trucking to farming using the same side panel different controls so I then try and map that in a similar way so all my lights are together um, other certain things are bunched together camera angles and stuff like that. So I try and make it as simple as I can. So the same just working away of mapping uh, those controls for the hitches and stuff. Once I get comfortable doing all that we can add it. You know, one day I might get good at reversing in a game. IRL, <laughs> I can reverse. <laughs> Lovely. Never been a problem, it's always been a strong point. <laughs> but going forwards was an issue. And, um, but yeah, my revere, reverse it of late in the trucking and in the farming. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. along the way, speeding. Go straight on. Things I don't always notice that until uh, the RGB on the PC start flashing blue at me. So let me know that the police are on my arse. Then we get hit with a fine. Normally about £200 as well. with uh, a bit driver guy the other day and then saying that the uh, the new Russian DLC is on far away so we'll probably get another update and then have to wait for um, pro mods to uh, do theirs 
So if I disappear for a little while, it's only because I'm waiting for pro mods because I like to play with pro mods. And uh, I will, I will get the Russian DLC. It will come. Um, I've not, you know, ventured far into all the other DLC that's here yet. So uh, it's not a top priority, but it will come. It will be added. You know, there's a, a massive expansion on Brew Mods to add to parts of the Middle East. So I could even uh, could even get to that. But like I say, we, we have trouble <laughs> getting, getting much further than um, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, France and Spain. <laughs> we did dip our toes in Portugal for about two hours. That was about it. It's a shame that it's um, a night journey at the minute because we can't really see much of what's around us. I mean, the game always looks beautiful. We can't really see much of this uh, countryside. I think we reached, I'm not sure, I want to say we reached Sweden, but I don't think we did. We must have been in Denmark. No, we did, we crossed the border, didn't we? So, yeah. It's been Sweden. Flashing on our that nav to let us know that our destination, our point of drop off, is not that far away. But this looks really nice in the daylight because this was, uh, I'm sure Scandinavia was a DLC. Yeah, Stockholm Jun Shopping. Good at saying that. I'm going to come back here more often so I can keep saying it. Yun Shurping. Got, um, got Google to say it to me enough times until I can get it right. It's the time. Half past three in the morning. The sun is coming up. Say how much free. That's sorry, I just hit the mic. Uh, 340 nearly. Definitely speeding it from uh, catching this geezer up. Oh no, we've gone round. I would toot my horn, but I forget where I've, where I've put it. I don't want to do something silly. See, like that. That's me looking for my horn. It's not there. And that's my map, so it isn't there. Who knows? Who knows where I put these things? Left. Sometimes I turn my window wipes on when I want to, like that. I have to cycle all the way through. Oh, mate, hella speed in the fence. So at least it was downhill. We were rocking it, though, weren't we? 11 miles per hour over. Yeah, oh, it's double the sight. Slowing down. All right. Still faffing about my window wipers in a panic. It's not that one either. Yeah, I don't know where I'd put it. It's somewhere though. I do have a horn. There it is. <laughs> That's the old bill. Look, God, there. They'll tell me off now for uh, and about. Oh, should I put one of them? There's me uh, high beam. Clearly not. Anyway, talk to myself. I always talk to myself. No one's actually here with me. Be right cramped to full 
37 of my regular viewers were here. And, uh, it's never wasted on me that I only make content for about 30 people. Although I will say, today, Start and back in March, the panel has achieved 8,000 watch hours, which is absolutely amazing. 8,000 8, hours in, uh, in 11 months. Go and we had a, at least a month down with no real content. So, to, to any and everyone that, that is and has watched, thank you so much so much and we are fastly approaching 500 subscribers so if you're watching this and you've got this far into the video and you haven't hit subscribe yet hit that subscribe button let's uh let's smash it hit the like button hit the subscribe button because we are pumping out a ton of content on the channel at the minute and trying to get a little bit something for everyone which isn't easily done we are pushing 2022 it's going to be mr farquhar's year on youtube we're going to hit 1000 subscribers be nice if we didn't have to wait another whole year for another 500 subscribers but if that's what it takes that's what it takes and we'd love to hit them goals keep left and things like that. I mean, it helps. It would help to be able to recoup a few pennies from all the money I've pumped into uh, getting this going. I would like to uh, At the roundabout, take the make it a real thing. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on with these boys up front? They had an accident. Reversing up, they've had an accident. Whoa, 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 mate, 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 mate. <laughs> That's great. I've, uh, I've never seen the AI traffic do that before. He's probably struggling, isn't he? He's realising he's in the wrong lane. I've never seen AI traffic exit now in the wrong lane and struggle to get what they want. <laughs> oh man, this is mental. Where's my horn? <laughs> Where was it? Right, we have discovered Yun Shuping. I need to move over. There we go, found it a bit late. At the roundabout. <laughs> Be careful, you get fined for using that wrong as well, I think. I'd like to get to the stage where the channel is successful enough that when my little boy gets to school, he can tell people his dad is a YouTuber. That's what we're going for. He's nearly two, so we start play school soon and all that sort of jazz. But if we could, uh, if we could be considered a professional YouTuber by the time. He gets to school. I think he'd like that. Get him on the channel. If anyone follows my uh, Instagram or Twitter or even Facebook, you might have even seen that I put pictures of him uh, playing with the tractors. He's got his headset on. <laughs> Listen to Stormzy while he's driving tractors around in Germany. <laughs> so we are on our left. Turn left. This one. Well, that is my left, and it will stall them in there. Finally, we are here. Finally, all right, mate. Not bad. So. 
Oh, we can just stick it in front, or we can drive around back. Should we go for the bonus XP and try and stick it around back, because that still looks quite easy? <laughs> he says. Famous last words. Now, that looked like an easy one. I'll tell you what, I hope this supermarket weren't expecting this, uh, this barley to be all packaged that was coming in a trailer and dropping it off at the supermarket. Just cruise around here nice and easy. They should just be over on our right. Yeah. Need some cake, mate. Ooh. Might not be perfect, but that went green, didn't it? There we go. Unload. Job complete. We have delivered barley from Norwich to Yun Shuping. We have driven 1,096 miles. Probably should have been a bit shorter, but we missed a turn in in, um, in part two and had to go a little bit further through uh, wherever we were. Belgium, I think. Uh, it's taken us 42 hours. Oh, no, 43 hours lost. Nice to Yun Shirping in under 43 hours. Uh, and we have made 21,007. We've been fined around about 1,800. So uh, there's a small loss there. And we have leveled up. So let's stick this in somewhere. I think we might go with. Hmm. Or should we get a license? What's the poison? What is that? Toxic and infectious substances. Let's do that. What sort of things can we get? Uh, potassium, cyanide. Oh, cool. Pesticides, probably more that sort of thing. Yeah, we'll go for that. That is what we're having. There it is. Have we got another one? No? No. Since it's still showing. Oh, it's to reset it. Apply. And that is it, guys. Norwich to Yun Sherping completed. We'll, uh, we'll try and see if we can get a job out of Yun Sherping to somewhere else in Europe. Or I'll just potter about for a bit and see where, what I can get. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the complete journey. I am thinking about uploading a complete, um, like, uh, they call them super cuts, like, uh, like as a one hit. So we'll do the whole, all three in one video as well. That's a possibility. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a big fat thumbs up down below. Like I say, if you are new to the hat channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live come and join what's happening here check out all the content on the channel like it's something for everyone always open for recommendations if anyone's got anything they'd like to see me try and it's within my library then uh, i'm always up for giving it a go you guys have yourselves a wonderful day hopefully i'll see you again very soon in the next one bye bye